Hello guys, I am Professor José Bezerra Menezes Filho and uh, I live in Brazil. I live in the state of Paraíba. In this video, I want to show the introduction of neural network. Uh, first, how does the human brain X works? The human brain is formed by neurons in order to accomplish several kinds of tasks, which tasks, thinking, motor control, etc. This is this picture so show the neuron, our neuron is formed by three parts, the dendrites, the cell bud and the axon. The input comes into the through the detrites and the output comes through the axon. The human brain has approximately 100 billion neurons and the neurons operate by receiving signal signs from other neurons through connections called synapses. So the synapses are detrites and axon. The combination of these signs in excess of a certain threshold or activation level will result in the neural firing that is sending a signal onto other neurons connected to it. Some signs act as excitation and the others as inhibitions to a neural firing. What we call thinking is believed to be the collective effect of the presence or absence of fires in the pattern of synaptic connections between neurons. Important, our brain has an important characteristic which is called plasticity. Plasticity is the capacity of the brain to adapt to an environment. As the scientists build the neural network in order to emulate the human brain functioning, this neural network has to have also this plasticity. The neural network acquires the knowledge of the environment. The neural network stores the acquired knowledge in the connections of the neurons. The proceedings to perform the learning is the so-called learn algorithm. This algorithm modifies the synaptic weight in order to accomplish the aim. We can see how the how learning algorithm works. The input of the first neuron is shown here. This first neuron niche the output, this output pass to the neuron 2 through the synaptic wedge. And uh, we, we can see the output of the neuron 2. The output of the neuron 2 is compared by the desired value. If the output is equal to desired value, no, there is no necessity to modify the synaptic wedge. If the output is different of the desired ability, it's necessary to modify the synaptic wedge. Okay? So, the properties of the neural network, non-linearity, input-output mapping, and adaptability. This is the model of the one neuron. In the following, it is shown the X structure that form the basis of the neural network. Here, the vector of the input. Here, the vector of the wages. The output of the neurons is here. And it is formed by passing the output of the linear combination of the inputs to the 
function, this function, this function, normally nonlinear, is called the activation function. So the output of the neuron is the output of the activation function. Uh, in this, uh, there is a stochastic, stochastic model of the neural model. Uh, in the following model, we can obtain stochastic neural model with the output assuming only one of the two states, plus one and minus one, one plus one and minus one, as in, in the McCullum Pitts model. The decision to fire the neuron is probabilistic. T is a pseudo thermo pseudo thermometry. Okay, this is a stochastic model of neural model. The previous figure can be simplified using sino flow graphs. They were developed by Mason for linear network. The sino flow graph is a network of oriented links that are interconnected at certain points called nodes. This is an oriented graph. A node J has an associated nodal sign XJ. An oriented link originated at node J and ends at node K. K. This node has an associated transfer or transmittance function. A neural network is an oriented graph consisting of nodes with synaptic interconnection and activation links and is characterized by four properties. Each neuron is represented by a set of linear synaptic weights, a bias and a nonlinear activation function. The links bond the input signal, the weight sum defining the induced local field. The activation function limits the induced local field to produce an output. This is a model of neuron with aid of graph model. Here we can see the inputs, the synaptic equation, the induced local field, this linear combination of the this, this sign is the activation function and the output. Uh, network architectures, single lawyer networks, lawyer networks. What, what is la lawyer networks? They are organized in the form of lawyers composed of neurons, networks fed for one a single lawyer. It has an input lawyer and output lawyers. This is a single lawyer network. It has two lawyer, input lawyer and output lawyer. Multiple lawyer networks it has a input lawyer, hide lawyer and the output lawyer. This is a recurrent neural network. Is it has a feedback loop. Self feed may occur. The neuron feeds on its own signal or not. This type of neural network is applicable to tasks such as handwrite recognition, recognitions, and speech recognition. So we can see the unit shift operators. Each output returns back to the inputs of the neurons through the unit shift operators. This is another type of reporting network which self feedback and hide neurons. The most common 
types of the neural networks are fully hackerent networks, hackerent neural network, Hockfield network, Elman networks, Jordan networks, echo state networks. Knowledge representation. Knowledge refers to the stored information or models used by a person or machine to interpret, predict, and respond appropriately to the outside world. One of the tasks of the recurrent is to learn a model of the world environment. Knowledge of the world can be this no state of the world, previous formation and the observations, misery of the world obtained by means of sensor. Training a set of input output pair which pair consists of an input signal and the desired response is referred to as a set of training data or training samples. Thank you.